in thesis writing, one or a reader cannot just imagine what you want to see. So it should be transformed to the so-called paradigm. The paradigm of a thesis can be seen in a figure. Ballpen, uh, you know? yes, yes, sir. Yung ballpen. Atap. Atap. Where is the paradigm? It embodies the concept of your thesis. Ano ba ang gusto mong gawin din sa thesis mo? Kalimbawa, mag-ganyan tayo, sir. These lines do have different meanings. The concept is here. When we have the concept is here, this is what we call the concept of independent, independent variable. And this one are independent variable. Independent variable as a concept is what is in you which cannot be changed. Ano bang nasa inyo sir na hindi pwedeng mag-uwin at the time of research? Profile. That is your profile. Give an example sir of your profile. Gender. Okay. We have three classification of gender to be accepted by the society. Male, female, hermaphrodite. Oh, di ba yung isang tawag nyo sa general? It's... Ako, ano ba ang term ng lalaki? LGBT? LGBT group. So we have... This this cannot be changed. Your your age, your educational attainment at the pre at present, and your lack of service. This particular three concept of independent variable was the basis of Congress when they formulated and approved the Magna Carta for Teachers sa Manila. Bakit ba? yung bang matatandang teacher ay eh, mas magaling kaysa mga batang teacher. So there are preference to the age level as the basis for disqualifying or proposing for to lessen the so-called age limit ng kanilang pag, uh, pag retire But to us, it's uh, 65 years old ang naging baseline nila. Ito ko yung entertainment. They believe that with the formulation and approval of the Magna Carta, Magna Carta for teachers, there, there will be a way for them to upgrade their learning through the attendance to the so-called formal or uh, non-formal education. Formal education, attendance to graduate education, non-formal education, attendance to seminar workshop. Kaya meron po tayong mga seminar workshop so that the non-formal education can expose the future teacher and the present breed of teachers in the actual happenings in the educational system. Marami pong nangyayari na wala sa libro. Okay. Lack of service. Ang sabi na po doon sa pagkakarta, kahit na ito ay sampung beses ang dami ng kahit na ito ay 20 or 30 years in service, if you fail to get interest in teaching, there will be no way for you to be classified as a good teacher. However, these are only a presumption. Sometimes the new teacher is much better than the old teacher and vice versa. So it is through research where we can find out kung talagang ang competency level niya ng old teachers and new teachers are different. This is a very good sense. What is the meaning of this line? This is a relationship line. This can be solved through the so-called chi-square. Itong line na ito. But this one can be solved through the test. Is there a significant difference between the competency level of an old teacher compared to the competency level of a new teacher? And that should be proven through the t-test. 
in terms of difference. Pero kung sinabi ko ito kasi, is there a relationship between the competency level of an old teacher and her age? Ito naman yun, ito yung applicable statistical design. Is there a relationship between the educational qualification of the new teacher compared to the educational qualification of the old teacher? Nung po unang panahon, there are so many provisions and this particular paradigm carries with it the concept na the quality of education taken by the students is can be measured in terms of the dependent and the independent variables. Magagawa ko tayo sana ng, ng solution dito pero ay isa ito mahirap ma matagal po dito yun. But this is a very good uh, citation that it is only this two one. This two statistical treatments is applicable to this kind. There are so many independent variables which can be included here as a concept. Ang concept po ng magnakarta, the concept of uh, which evolved in the magnakarta of teachers is quality education. What are the basis of quality education? How can we attain quality education? One concept is to formal education through non-formal education. But there are several variables which can contribute to the attainment of quality education. Nakita ko po si Ma'am. Nung kanina, buntis kayo Ma'am. O, ganun po. Ipahirap po ang, but you are here. Naatin ko kayo, that is a very good intention attempt. Na you are still living even though that at the end mo, I appreciate the beauty of your participation mo. You are an example of a good teacher na you do your best. Kasi kahit na kasi upukan, upay lang. Dito marami po ito, ito ay, it is an endless, it is an endless, this thing, marami po ito. All variables which is, which cannot be changed at the moment, that is independent variable. But those variables which can be changed in the future, or even at the time of research, are the so-called dependent variable. Example, competency level of the teacher in BSID program. That is your competency level. Pang quality and attendance, that is complete, that is a dependent variable. Who will have the more productive performance? Those who are present in this schedule and those who are absent in this schedule. Kaya ginocompare na po natin yan. And this is the most common, this is the most common parody. Concept, pag sinabi po natin concept, ano bang concept to dito? The concept to is quality education. What are the theoretical framework which include which should be included in the quality education? There are 16 theories of education in a democracy. Number one, you can only get a qualified knowledge from a qualified instructor. Number 15, curriculum should be read, should be flexible rather than rigid. Kaya po po ng simula sa number one at saka number 15. Kasi marami po yung kasunod nun 1 to 15. Pero ang number 2, environmental theory. The contribution of the environment will produce the kind of education which can be derived by the student from the institution. Kaya ang mga conceptual theory po, kasama rin po sa discussion sa methodology at theory. Ganun po yun. Matyo? Kung ang aking quality ay ang concept ng aking ng, uh, may concept in my thesis is for example comprehension level comprehension level ng estudyante anong theoretical framework na pwede mo mabili na? What particular theoretical framework can you in your site. So we have to get the help of Google and internet. Kaya kung maganda kayo, mayroong mayroong kayong Google. 
Je vais vous montrer que c'est pour la compréhension de l'éveil. Availability of books in the library. Simplicity of wordings used by the author. Les mangas qui sont Parce que les mangas qui sont en train de faire des mangas books. Ils ont des mangas words qui sont en train You need to get the dictionary pour vous intéresser. So when it comes to comprehension, a reading naman, the, the level of grade for the students in reading the story parade. And the story parade for a libro na grade for story parade. Pero hindi ma hindi po maintindihan ng bata yung kung hindi marunong siyang bumasa. Kaya we have to determine the level of reading, the ability to read. And the ability to read ang konsepto po nun, practice. The frequency of practice of a reader will, attribute, will contribute to his competence in reading. Pero kung minsan lang siya magpasa sa hapon, sa isang araw, there will be no possibility of immediate increase on how to understand what he has read. Meron po ba kayong question din? Ito kasi ang pinakamahaba. Sir, where is the line for the modifying variables? If you will continue this line, because it's not going to be able to do it. It's not going this is a continuous process pa kanon. And at the same time, that it, it is a modifying variables. Pabagsak po dyan. Sinabi mo sabihin, feedback, feedback mechanism. Di ba pwede yung pa-straight na lang dyan sa sama? In between, between dependent and independent? Sana. Hali ka rin ito sa Ay, dito na magkakain. Dito na magkakain. Patungo na rito. Wala si Jans. Ang cost siya sa pagbata sa dependent at independent. Yes, sir. Pero ito pati. Kasi, sir, ito ang tinatawag na shortcut results. Kasi, hindi ko sa tao na siya rin. You will not be considering the other independent variables anymore. So you will be considering how you look at it. As they are. Kaya kailangan magkaroon po dito. Ito po ay nagbagay sa mga marites. Sa baba na. Sa baba. Hindi pa pagkanisya. Pag ito lang tayo dito. Shortcut. Shortcut ito po. Tatanungin mo lang ang principal. Ang kalimbas siya. Shortcut yun eh. Eh, bias yung principal. Gusto niya yung isa gaya maganda. So you will be getting the actual product of business for which you want to get. Okay. Marami para ang answer, pero tama ito kung gusto mong mag-iisan. Pero this is not accurate, sir. I like that question. The idea of number of sub-problems in the thesis is five. Ibig sabihin, Number one, what is the profile of the respondent? Socio-demographic profile of the respondent. Number two, what is the level? Weighted mean. Weighted mean po. If the criteria will be given in a questionnaire. And number four, uh, is there a significant difference or is there a significant relationship? Pero at the end of those particular sub-problems, hindi po kayo titigil doon. Kung meron ba yung may recommend what recommendation can be introduced by the writer to upgrade, for example, to upgrade the competency level of the students in writing a team? Ganun po yun. Hindi po kayo titigil doon sa findings lang. Kailangan magkaroon kayo ng recommendation. Otherwise, it is a finding that is ended in futility. Naging walang kwenta yung thesis nyo kasi hindi man lang kayo nag-recommenda. What is the basis of the recommendation? The basis of the recommendation is the conclusion and the basis of the conclusion is the findings of the researcher. Kaya kailangan mong i-recommend po kayo. Ang susunod po doon ay formulation of questionnaire. Ang questionnaire po ay kailangan properly validated. The questionnaire may be in forms of checklist, just sa ganda ng bata. Sa mga nakaraan. 
ito po ay questioner nila. Sinedisiplis lang po. Kaya nagkakaroon ng waited mean. So it is very important for us thesis writer to have a validated questionnaire. Validation can be done through authoritative method. Ang ibig sabihin mo ng authoritative method, gagawa kayo ng questionnaire. He is an authority. She is, a, she is an authority. Authority, lima po yun. Then the authority will, will check yung per criterion ng questionnaire. Okay ito criterion na ito. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, like a scale. Okay ito, okay ito, okay ito. If you produce a weighted mean of more than 3.5, this questionnaire is validated. Acceptable po ng said yun. Authority. By authority. Pwede rin po ang test retest. Ibig sabihin, you will be administering the first half of your questionnaire to the respondents and this week, the other half will be tested to another or another respondent. But those respondents should not be the actual respondents of your study. Bawal po yun. Babaguhin yun dun sa kabilang barangay mo gagawin. Hindi dun sa actual respondents mo. Otherwise, alam na nila ang sagot. And there will be bias and prejudice to the result of your study. Marami kong prohibition. Okay. Bago po i-implement ang isang questionnaire, kailangan may approval. You will notice, kahit na nursing students na huminingi ng approval, it should pass through the office of the UJAA kung ang, kung ang respondents nila is students in our degree programs. Kailangan dadaan po sa inyo. Uh, dadaan po sa inyo para alam namin na it was approved. It is a very important part of the thesis admitted. Ang retrieval po, ang pinakahuli, retrieval na. Sa retrieval, kung makaretrieve kayo ng 86%, that, is, that will be a questionable because 14% po, maaaring mabago ang trend ng inyong result. The, the writer should justify yun. Bakit ba? Bakit 14%? hindi mo nakuha lahat. Bakit hindi 100%? So therefore, you as a researcher should do your possible best na makuha mo lahat ang inyong questionnaire. Otherwise, there will be possibility tanungin ka ng tanungin bakit naiwan na ng 14%. In most cases, ang nagiging dahilan po ng mga writer, every now and then that I visited the school, lagi sinasabi niya, nakalimutan ko sa bakal. Kaya kailangan meron pa access questionnaire gawin mo ito ulit. Sa pangatlo, na hindi pa niya nagawa, kalimutan mo, sabi mo three times in a row, I visited him in his school and there was no positive response for me to retrieve my questionnaire. Tanggap po lang si John. Kahit basahin nila, tanggap nila yun. Okay, that is the end of the cycle and the next will be the classification organization of data and information in the human form of the cycle. I guess it wasn't very much.